What's up guys? Ken with the Shop Mini RC here and we're racing cars tonight. Uh, they're gonna be doing some F1, so that's gonna be cool. We got this kind of cool layout. Let me show ya. So we've got this 45 coming out of the straight, so you can kind of keep your speed through here. Then all kinds of technical stuff over there. And one of the local guys kind of just did a little screen or picture and marked up some comments here. We'll go ahead and show it here. So that gives you a little bit of insight in how you should probably run this track. Now, am I gonna run it that way? No, cause I am not that good. But some of these guys definitely are gonna be able to uh, handle it well. And the F1s are gonna be super cool. So I'm kinda excited to, to show you guys those. They're neat for sure. We've got a bunch of stuff we brought today, but um, we're only running super stock and stock. So, we're gonna be running the RX28 and super stock, and then the PN and stock. A lot of these guys uh, at our local stores here in Colorado are running the LiPo with the 2500 KV. I'm still on the uh, 3500 KV with AAAs. Um, but yeah, these are what we're gonna be running tonight. And then we've got this box stock experiment where we went ahead and wired up for lipo so we can run lipo on it, which is kind of cool. And we got that next bison. And this guy's transformed probably from the last time you saw it. If you're paying attention, we've now got a next rear pod that's supposed to be for a brushless, but we crammed a uh, PN70 in there. We had, to, we had to drill new holes in it to get it to line up. And it does hang a little low, but not so low that it actually hits. We don't have a bell oh, here. We, we got it. I think we got enough clearance. It's close though, but it's not as low as the uh, the spur gear. So with the diff gear. So that's good. And this thing is running on box stock electronics still. So box stock electronics on LiPo with a PN70. And mind you, I'm not, not so hot, but I was able to run it around the track basically the same, getting the same times as my super stock. RX-28, but that's because I, I am not the best driver. I was getting like 12s and 13s, but I think these guys in super stock are gonna be nailing eights, nines maybe, some of the fastest ones, we'll see. I'll let you know. And then we got this guy here. This is the uh, WL Toys little project thing. We'll probably do an update video on this. I think we finally got it running decently but it's basically all carbon fibered out, aluminum. If you hadn't seen the other video, I can show the other video here. We'll post it over here. The most recent one anyway. But it's also running the PN70 because I fried the other motor. Well, I actually broke the other motor trying to get the pinion off. So it is what it is, but it's, it's better than it was. And we did get a new servo last time. So we have a video coming on all the trials and tribulations of this. What else do we have? Oh, our box stock. Our actual box stock. The only thing that's different is the uh, wheels and tires, T plate, and the PN motor. And I think that's all we got today. Should be good times. And they're on. Should be catastrophic, although it's very early in this race, so we'll see if we can uh, make up all the lost time there. That puts Terry out front. Brent could drive this clean. I would say he could make up a 2.7 trailing Corey. Oh, that was close. Everybody's driving their own race now. There's 50 
spread out on the track. The Brett has tipped away further. He's now 2.8 behind Antonio. Antonio has slipped to 3.8 behind Corey. We are about two minutes in, three to go. Hot laps, let's see what we got. Uh, Corey's at a 9 flat, 9 3, or Antonio just put down a 9 1, busted his by two tenths. Brent, the only one in the eights with an 8 9. Is three and a half seconds behind Antonio. Oh, of course, it just takes Antonio for a physical lap. So we got blasted again in the RX-28, and we broke a lower A-arm, and... All right, we have uh, F1, and he won. The body mount. Peter, Corey, Rick, Michael, Jim out here. This is the second time we broke the body mount. We think it might be partially due to this front body clip flexing. It flexes quite a bit, and there's a crack. You can see there's cracks in it. So I think it's too flexy, and when we get, when we get hit, we, uh, or when we hit something, a wall or a, another car, it flexes and it puts too much, too much on the sides. And they break. I don't know. I don't even. I don't even know what happened to cause this. I think somebody today? tapped me, and we thought that my body miles. popped off, but really we broke the front a arm and the body clip. So that's what we're dealing with now. We're going to start this. Ready, Marshalls, ready, racers. We're going to hunt for five. Happen by the end of the night for you. Thank you, sir. Steve, well, I can't want to see some rats or anything. No, I don't. I, I don't want to see any wrecks. Only if they're catastrophic. All right, Corey's made it to the nine. These guys are all in the nine second club now. Brent still leading them around. We got Jim about 6.7 seconds behind 
Brent. We have Rick in under two seconds behind Jim. And Michael is about two seconds behind Rick. Actually, Michael. Did you make the pass, Michael? Yeah. Oh. Sir, could you please not interrupt the announcer? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Jim, what's happening out here? You were in the two spot, now you're in the last. So overall, pretty good night, other than the breaking of the RX-28, but there were expensive parts, which is always good to not break expensive parts, but we do have to wait for some new ones, so that sucks. Uh, stock car rang great, it's a PN 2.5, and um, yeah, we did good, just our, you know, our driving needs to improve, we need that driver upgrade. But yeah, hopefully you guys like those F1s. They're pretty pretty cool. And uh, all the guys around here are kind of getting into it. I haven't gotten one yet. Um, I'm just, I'm, I hit the wall too much, so uh, that'd, be getting, that'd get expensive in an F1. But we'll get there eventually. So um, yeah, we'll definitely get an F1 at some point because they're just too cool. But it's not right now. We got to improve. All right, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Crash and smash them and bash them, but don't right. break the expensive parts.